Hello. Welcome to this new and easy tutorial. Today, you will learn how to add animated fog to your images, using only Photoshop. Please like the video, and let's get started. Step 1. Add the fog overlays. After opening Photoshop, go to File. Open. To open your image. Select your image, then click Open. After that, go to Image, and choose Image Size. This step is to reduce the image size, to make the process less CPU consuming. Make sure that, this little icon is checked. Now, change width or height to 1000 pixels. Then click OK. Press Ctrl plus 0, to fit your image to the screen. Now, go to Window, and choose Timeline. Press Ctrl plus 0 again. Now let's import the fog overlays. From Layer, Video Layers, choose New Video Layer from File. You can find these fog overlays, in the video description below. Now, open Fog 1 folder. Select the first image, make sure that image sequence is checked. Then click Open. Photoshop will import that image sequence, as a video layer like that. Adjust the layer's position as you like. Click on this little icon to zoom in timeline. You can run your video layer from here. It will take some time for the first run, depending on your PC specifications, and your image size. Please make sure that, loop playback is checked from here, to infinitely loop your image preview. Now, run it again. As you can see, this repeats the loop again and again. Now, I want to remove the black color, and keep the white color only. The best blending mode here, is screen. Just select your layer, then change blend mode to screen. With your layer selected, create a levels adjustment layer. Create a clipping mask of it. Adjust both level sliders, to increase the white color density, and increase the contrast. You can move your timeline slider, to see your final result. Now, set your slider to the very beginning. Then, select the top layer like this. And let's import another fog layer. From the video layer menu, select new video layer from file. Open the Fog 4 folder. Select the first image, and make sure that image sequence is checked. Then click Open. Your video layer will be added directly after the slider like this. Now, with your layer selected, press Ctrl plus T to transform it. Click Convert, to convert your layer to a smart object. Adjust your layer size and position like that. Now, change Blend Mode to Screen, to hide the layer's black color. If you zoom in, you may find this line. You should use Levels to hide it. Now, with your layer selected, create a Levels Adjustment layer. Create a clipping mask of it. Adjust the shadow slider, this will remove this white line. Adjust the other slider value, to increase the white color density. Zoom out to see what's going on. That's great. Let's import some particles. Select the top layer, and set the timeline slider to the beginning, then import your layer. Open the Particles 1 folder. Select the first image. And check image sequence if not. Then click Open. Now, press Ctrl plus T to transform your layer. Right click and choose, Flip Horizontal. Then press Enter. Press Ctrl plus D again, and adjust size and position like this. 
Change blend mode to screen. Add a levels layer. Clip mask it. And adjust both sliders values like this. Now, let's see the final result. Click run, and wait until it renders. That's great. Let's move to the next step. Step 2. Export as a GIF. To export your final result as a GIF, go to File, Export, and choose Save for Web. Wait a little bit. Now, change file type to GIF. Change color reduction to adaptive. Change colors to 256. Also, set dither to diffusion. With 100% value. You can decrease the output image size from here. Now, make sure that looping animation is forever. This will make your image, loops infinitely. You can run a preview, from here. Now, click on save. Then, add a name to your GIF file, and click save again. That's it. Please like the video and subscribe for more free tutorials. Thanks for watching.